So our post test was uh, successful. Everything is detected. Everything seems to be working great. So now what we want to do is prep the case now, ready to put the mud board into the case. In this case is the B Quiet Pure Base 500 DX. And again, it has been supplied by B Quiet, and I do thank them for that. Okay, so it's quite uh, quite neat in the back of there. All right, let's pull out uh, this box, which has the accessories in for the, uh, the case. So that's what we got in here. So this contains all of our screws, and of course, we have the motherboard manual because we are going to be needing that. We want to do is to literally just put the mud board into the, uh, the case. So in order to get this in the case, we are going to have to take out the back fan. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a squeeze, and you really don't want to be scraping more boards around inside the cases. Let's get in there, mate. There we go, that's in there nice and tight. And now I'm gonna place the fan back in. So what we wanna do now is secure the mud board in place. We're putting a screw in every slot apart from this middle slot here. That slot is where the standoff is. All right, so that's the mud board in. Let's uh, sit it up. Like that, and there we go. So this case has uh, three fans coming with it, one at the front, one at the back, one at the top. So next, we want to get the power supply in place. We get the power supply. The orientation of the power supply all depends on where you're putting it now. If you're going to put it on the carpet, then you have the fan up blowing down, okay? This system is going to be on the desk now, so we can put it the right orientation, which is fan down. So it will suck air from underneath the computer and in. And uh, on a side note, this case has meshes on all of the uh, fan intakes, which is a nice thing to do to keep it maintained nice. You don't have to suck the insides out. You can just pull off one of the meshes like this top one here. Okay, and just uh, hoover that up. Let's put this on here. Okay, it's the same as the mud board. It takes a few seconds to double check saves you a lot of hassle because if you use the wrong screw size on something, let's say we use the wrong screw size on one of the hard drives, for instance, and this is from real world experience, right? Over time, that screw is going to work its way loose and find its way onto the motherboard. And I don't need to tell you what a loose screw inside of a computer can do to your hardware. So don't ever be embarrassed to look at the manual for your computer. B Quiet 850 watt power supply. Now this is now going to go in the back. However, we are not going to secure it in place, okay? We're going to leave it like that. And the reason being, when we come to the cable management, we can move the power supply in and out depending on what wires we're fitting to it. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to wire everything up and I'll come back to you once that's done. That is now built to the stage I'm happy with it that we can go ahead and install Windows. Now again, we haven't done any cable management in the back here. You can see here it's all flopping around. What I have done though is I've installed the power cables for the hard drives that will be going in here so we don't have to mess around with that later. But the only thing now to do is to get it onto the back bench here, wire up to the second monitor and let's get Windows installed. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you the installation of Windows because I don't have the equipment required to um, capture that. I'll capture some brief moments using my mobile phone. That's about all you're going to get. But in the next video, we will be into Windows. We'll have a look at this system in Windows, and then we'll get it ready to put the hard drives in. So now it's time to put the motherboard into the case and prep the case. Okay, so we'll take the side off first. Your orientation is power supply.